Hello everyone, Ryan here from iOS Mars. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys uh, iVoxel. iVoxel is a vocoder, for, obviously for iPad. Um, it's also for iPhone as well, so uh, you know, universal app. You can use it for uh, iPhone and uh, iPad. I like that I can use it for iPhone because I use uh, my iPhone as my microphone a lot of the time, so uh, to have it on there, really great. Um, you know, uh, this vocoder, um, well, first of all, I'll just start by saying that, you know, I'm not a big vocoder guy. I haven't used a whole lot in my life, but I was super, super impressed with this one. Um, a lot of control over the sounds and, uh, you know, um, different ways to make our, well, they call them voxels, um, you know, the word file it's going to play. Um, so you have a lot of control over those so you know a lot of nice things we can do here so it's not just limited to you know like what I've used in the past is mostly either, either you're gonna sound like Stephen Hawking's or a robot and you know you can do both of those things with this app and in a lot of ways um, it, you can you can recreate the Stephen Hawking's voice better than any one I've ever I've ever known because of uh, the pitch control you have here so you know if you want to use this app to do some prank calls on your friends it would probably be a good idea you could probably uh, do some interesting stuff with it but anyhow that's not important um, you know I'll get I'll get started on showing you this here um, I'll just load the you know the the default demo project that they have um, the first voxel that they have in this area it's just the letter I, I. up a little bit. Alright, so you know, I'll start with the edit panel here, where you know, we can do a lot of things with this. Well, let me change this out actually, I'll put a different one in. Um, Let's see what this one sounds like. I just wanna thank you. All right. I just wanna thank you. I just wanna thank you. I just wanna just wanna just wanna thank you. Okay, so our first two options up here, uh, mono and follow. Um, you know. I just. I just. Wanna thank you. With follow on, it's gonna you know uh, it's gonna uh, track a lot better to the keys. Um, mono is obviously difference between mono and poly, so we can do. I just wanna thank you. We can do chords if we turn the the mono off. Um, you got our our scales here. This is gonna control what our keyboard's gonna look like. So. You know, pretty much the same as any other app uh, with a keyboard where you can select your scales. Uh, you know, see, I selected blues minor C. So. All right, and then we have you know the control over. Um, our gender and uh, all kinds of different parameters here that we can do to to really start to take control of our voxel and uh, you know mutate it into whatever we want it to sound like and you know I found this to be really cool because uh, I can get a lot of sounds um, other than you know anything I've been used to where you you know you can even get um, sort of evil sounds or you know something that could be used in even death metal or something like that so uh, obviously not just limited to dance music here you can pretty much do whatever you want but you know as a musician you guys know there's no rules and we can all do whatever we want with anything so anyhow let me uh, switch up the wave here I'm just, I'm just, I'm just wanna thank you Turn it down a little bit. Right on. 
Let's change that, this up. I like the noise one. This is the one that I find that I can make it sound quite evil. Oh yeah, I forgot that the noise, the noise wave doesn't really follow the keys. But, uh, you know, definitely, definitely an evil sounding, uh, uh, interpretation of a uh, of vocoder, so really cool. Anyhow, um, I'm just gonna reset this to sawtooth here. And we'll go to our control panel, where you know we can set up things for our, you know modulation wheels, um, uh, different uh, timing for our for our voxel. So we can do it slower. So you know you can you can sync this up to your beats uh this way um you know manually so pretty cool um cuz I was wondering about that you know what if I say a whole sentence and then it's not in time with what I want to use it for in the future so that's the answer to that um you can turn the hold off and obviously now it'll just play the full voxel all the way through without holding and I'll show you how to adjust the hold in just a minute um, re-trigger is gonna mean that you know um, instead of uh, we click on one key then hit the next key and it'll start the voxel again it's just gonna continue on this time so you can begin to you know make up a little um tune this way which is really cool um you know the effect panel i'm not going to get into this because it's just effects you guys know you know the effects from from different apps. Um, obviously, you're going to hear them as you start to play with this, so uh, you can judge your own opinion on uh, what you think they sound like and everything. But um, this page here is, is really important. Um, you know, it's uh, where we can set the hold. Oh, I'm going to go back and turn on the hold in order to. Test I this. So you see, where, wherever we put this hold, and when hold is on, that's where it's going to stretch out our voxel. You know, this is a, it's kind of neat uh, representation of our wave file here, you know, through frequencies and everything. Um, visualizing it helps you to, you know, you know, find where your, where your, where your words start and, be, and stop. So, obviously, blue and black would be silent, and the hotter color you get to is the louder the sound's going to be, or whatever. As, as far as I can tell, that's how this works, you know. I'm not a sound engineer. You guys probably found that pretty obvious from listening to me in the past, but um, yeah, really cool anyway, so. Right on. So uh, the next thing I'll show you here is the sequencer, and you know I'm not I'm not a huge fan of this. Although I can see you know there's obviously a lot of uh, a lot of um, uh, things you could do with this, where you can set up um, as you can see you can write your voxel in. Well, not you can't actually write it in. Let me show you here. You just pick it from the list, the same as uh, you would on the keyboard, but you can make up your sentences and. Uh, arrange them this way and play from up here right on so um you know I find this a little bit difficult especially the editing um, it's not the easiest thing to set up um, I believe if we use a uh, um, record it will record the MIDI as well so we can put it in here 
but uh, haven't tried it a whole bunch, so perhaps I'll show you guys that on a, on a different tutorial some other time. But, um, you know, uh, one thing I will show you here, and it's probably the coolest thing about this app, is, um, you know, the ability to record. We can import via our iTunes file sharing too, but, uh, you know, I, I don't like to use my computer with my iPad at all because, you know, iPads have enough power. We can do everything right from the iPad for the most part. So, um, you know, what we can do here, and I just have uh, the Apogee Jam hooked into, uh, into iVoxel here through our uh, microphone hooked into the Apogee Jam. And uh, we can use this to, uh, to record our own voxel on the fly here. So let me move this a little bit. I just want to thank you. So all we have to do, as you see, when I press this and it brings up the menu, it also highlights this record button. That's how we're going to make our own voxel here. So um, uh, I'm just going to hope that I don't get any feedback without turning the volume down. But if I do, uh, I'll fix it immediately. But um, to record the little microphone button, that's what we're going to use. So we have the recording highlighted and we got our little microphone button. So I'm just going to say iOS Mars, and that'll be it. So we click our microphone button, and as you can hear, uh, my voice is coming through it a little bit. So once I press the key, it'll begin to assign this. So let's do that. iOS Mars. iOS Mars. IOS Mars, IOS Mars, IOS Mars. IOS Mars, IOS Mars. IOS Mars. So there we go. We got a you know a voxel. So um, immediately when I when I first got this, I was like, oh, I can't save it. There's no way to save it. It doesn't appear in here and uh, whatever. But uh, I played around a few, for, with it for a few minutes. So all we have to do, do is go to our voxel tab here, and we just click the name up top where we can name it. And I'm gonna name it I O S. Mars. Um, and I already have one in there, so iOS Mars 2. And we'll save it. Oops. Done. There we go. iOS Mars. So it should be in my list here now. And there we go, iOS Mars 2. iOS Mars. So let's take this. Uh... iOS Mars. iOS Mars. iOS Mars. IOS Mars. IOS Mars. <laughs> All right, so um, that's pretty much an intro to um, iVoxel. You know, I think this app is really cool, and uh, you should probably go pick it up on the App Store. You know, again. Visit iOS Mars uh, and uh, look for the link underneath the video. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you for now. I'll come back to next time, show you some more cool things. Um, you know, maybe uh, controlling this via virtual MIDI or, you know, something like that. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little look into iVoxel. And uh, definitely, if you're looking for a vocoder for iOS, uh, this is an excellent choice. Alright, thanks a lot, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.